everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a really fun makeup celebrity recreation as well as a fun collaboration with my dear Instagram online friend Celeste. She is of the True Spoon on her blog and she also has a YouTube and Instagram Celeste Thomas and we have a lot of things in common so we are both registered nurses as well as clean beauty YouTubers, bloggers, influencers, whatever you want to call us. So I love following her tips and product recommendations. I decided to do a makeup recreation of Rosie Huntington and she did a makeup recreation of Lily Collins. And hers is a little bit more of like a bolder lip, a nice kind of like peachy, warm, orangey cheek. It's stunning. Look using clean beauty products. All the clean beauty products that I have today are from the detox market you can purchase them at the detox market and that is part of our giveaway today so we have partnered up not only on this makeup collab but also to partner up on a giveaway for you all for the holidays so if you want to win a gift card to the detox market so you can purchase your favorite products from the looks that we created today definitely make sure to check out the description so you see all the rules without any further ado let's get into today's makeup look all right, so for this holiday look, I am going off of this recreation. Um, this is Rosie Huntington, and super excited to recreate this. Now, based on this picture, she's got lots of um, kind of glow. Going with the RMS Beauty, this is the Master Radiance Base in the shade Rich. And I'm just going to take my finger. I've got nice prepped skin, which is going to help kind of just blend this all in. And this just adds such a beautiful glow. Okay, so once that's blended in, we look super glowy. Um, we've got lots of beautiful radiance. Now this is for lighter skin tones. It is quite like of a pigmented peachy beige tone. And they do have a beautiful color for deeper skin tones as well. Now I'm going in with the Cure Weiss. This is the Invisible Touch Foundation. And I do love the way that this looks. I think it does give a little bit of a more medium coverage, which I tend to stay away from. But because this is a holiday look, we are going to um, do maybe like a little bit more coverage than usual. So we'll be going in with this foundation. I love how it dries down. It still looks very kind of radiant skin like it does give you know your skin some dew and glow and because we have that master radiance base underneath it's really going to shine through that foundation and right now this shade in refined is like the perfect color for me so I'm just using my hands for now and then I'm just going to take a foundation brush just blend that out I feel like it still looks super skin like and we love a good glow there we go I'm gonna do just a tad of concealer just under my eyes just to kind of help brighten be a tiny bit just on my forehead there and blend that out now I love Celeste content she has such a beautiful Instagram and recently started doing a lot more YouTube videos which is great because I find YouTube such a great platform to kind of get to know you know the person behind Instagram a little bit more and I don't know I find that a lot more interactive which is why I personally love YouTube so if you don't follow Celeste already definitely go ahead to that and we are doing a giveaway together for this um, I think I've probably mentioned this in my intro I usually film up, film up my intro once the makeup is complete um, so I'm probably just re iterating myself but we thought it'd be fun to do a giveaway collaboration together 
I also love that she has like a little bit of different look to me. She's got, you know, beautiful chiseled cheekbones and dark brown hair. She's gorgeous. Okay, so now that our kind of base is done, I'm going to do just a little bit of setting because it is quite a bit tacky on the skin. So I'm using the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder, this Morphe R3 brush. I'm just going to collect it in there, swirl out the excess, and just mostly focus that under the eyes to set that concealer, and do like a light dusting everywhere else with just the powder that's left over. And I like how this powder doesn't like totally mattify, but it just sets everything so your skin doesn't feel tacky. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the face makeup. So I'm going to be going in with the Cure Weiss Cream Blush in Sun Touched. This is kind of like my go-to blush for most cheeks that look a little bit on the warm side. And I kind of did a swatch of some different blushes to see what would kind of mimic this really kind of exaggerated cheek she's got. And I love how pigmented the Cure Weiss blushes are and they do last quite long. So here's our blush. I just use my fingers to dab that. And let's just see how far she's got this blush. So she's really focused it mostly here. I tend to bring my blush up a little bit because I find that most flattering, but I think once we apply our bronzer, it's really going to mimic that. So to kind of look like a blush contour. And then I'm going to do our highlight. Hers just looks like such a soft radiance. Like you can see, it just looks like it's she's glowing from within. So for that, we're obviously going to go in with the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. This stuff just automatically it makes your skin look like it's just radiating from the inside and she's got it kind of all the way here swept back we'll do a bit on the cupid's bow i feel like that really helps mimic the glow that she has now for bronzer i thought this would come in handy this is the kosa sun touched moisturizing baked bronzer in the shade light and because her skin is more on the warm side kind of like a peachy tone I thought this would work really really well and because her eyes are kind of that coppery rose gold this is going to just complement it so she's really got kind of a focus on her cheekbones of this like warm bronzer oh my gosh this looks so similar to the photo and usually I don't do like a warm contour, but she almost has it kind of like a concentrated bronzer. She doesn't bring it here. It's really back where you would typically contour. Just bring that extra down the neck. I think we nailed the face look. And we can always go back a little bit later and just add a little bit more bronze if we need to. We'll do eyes. So let me zoom you in for eyes. So her eyes are super coppery, and I think the RMS Eye Polish in Lucky is almost exactly what she has, and I find the best pigmentation comes when you use your finger. Now, because I did double check, the color she has on her eye is actually by Hourglass, and it's got some more like chunky glitters, it almost has a bit of like a rose goldy pink hue and is less like goldeny copper. So we're going to layer this with another product that I think is going to really do the trick. Blend that, we'll use a brush. And she does have it smudged under her eye. It's a bit kind of rose gold. I'm actually going to use this Ritual Defeat, The Alchemist. And it's super glittery. Do the trick. So I'm just going to... It's 
just take my finger and dab it. And then with my brush, just kind of blend that around. So now we've got like a super glossy, glittery, kind of multi-chromatic rose gold copper lid. And when it hits the light, it really just reflects. So we're just going to do a nice mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. For brows, I'm going to just use the Plume Ashy Daybreak Pomade. And brush, brush, brush. I'm going to use the Kosas Rose Water. And while this color is not exact, the lip balm that I put on top, or the lip gloss, gives it that peachier, pinky hue. And then I'm using the Ilia. This is the Petals Balmy Gloss. And this has a nice kind of opacity to it, so it's not totally sheer. So it helps almost transform the color of the lipstick. And Rosie does have a bit of a glossier lip. It's super glossy in this photo, actually. Here is the finished makeup look. That really golden-y, peachy skin. The nice copper rose gold eyelids. Now, I will say that this isn't set because it is quite a glossy, wet formulation. So you can do a really light dusting of powder if you want to set it. It will crease a little bit, but I don't actually mind the creased, lived-in look. Um, so it's really just personal preference. But yeah, this is the completed makeup for the holidays. Super warm, bronzy, the nice pink lip and I think it is stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to check the description down below so you have all the contest giveaway details so you don't miss out on winning this fun gift. Um, all the rules are down below. So really it's going to include subscribing to my channel, subscribing to Celeste's channel, as well as following both of our Instagrams. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!